What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we are at Home Depot. We are actually going to show you guys a few pieces of wood that's good for box building. I got all the kids with me today. So we're missing the oldest one. But these kids didn't go to school this week due to COVID. The school shut down. Come here, guy. Come on. I mean, that's the car that you put the wood on. He's trying to get on it already. All right, so we're going to record a video inside here, show you different types of wood that you can use for um, building a box, doing paneling, you know, all that stuff, man. Like, subscribe, uh, turn that uh, bell notification on. We're going to try to be dropping videos like this, going out to stores and show you guys the type of products to use when you're building some stuff at your, at your crib. And hopefully we don't get kicked out of here for a recording, man. So stay tuned. Let's get in here. All right, so this is the lumber section right here. Here we go in here. Um, this is where all the wood. The, is that in the depot? So let's get inside here real quick. We need to get a cart for these cats. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So before we get started, go ahead and uh, hit that like button and subscribe. And let's get started with showing you guys these pieces of wood. Okay, so as we can see, there is no three quarter inch wood where I imagine it would be right here, but they do got half inch. Let me take this of it. So it will not focus. Okay, so they do got half inch and it's 47.43. I would imagine that the three quarters are pretty a little bit more expensive, but the half inch is good for under the seat boxes, truck boxes. Um, false panels and stuff like that and to build fiberglass stuff off so it's not that heavy um, I like the uh, MDF it's good stuff this is what I started building boxes with with the particle wood um, let's see what else they got like this one's pretty good to do fiberglass and doing curved panels it's always good um, you got the thicker one I would imagine you could probably build a box out of this type of wood but I wouldn't suggest it because I feel like it's just too flimsy and it will blow apart sooner or later. Like I like the MDF stuff because it weighs a little bit more and I always say the thicker the, the, or the heavier the box when you build it, the better. That thing will fucking quad out. So I always like to use MDF. So we're going to go to the uh, little section part to see if they have any MDF so you guys can see how thick it is. But I mean I think you guys see that. All right, let's see if they have any three-quarter inch. So once again, they have, the, well, this is the three-quarters right here. You can buy the little scrap sheets and build uh, braces out of these guys. Or uh, um, extra pieces that you need. So they do have the quarter inch MDF, but they don't sell them in four by eight sheets. It's a do for paneling. And they do have the half inch right here as well. So it's good stuff. Okay, this one right here, I'm not too familiar with it, but I just happened to glance at it and touch it, and it's really thick. But I feel if you were to use this one to build a box out of, you would have to do a good liquid nail screws in it and actually, um, what you would call it, pre-drill and screw it together because I feel like, man, the staples would blast through it. But you never know, it could probably be good. But we're gonna have to build a little box one day and see what that one does. Like I know like this one right here, like this type of plywood is no good, man. I think it would just fall apart so fast. But don't get me wrong that you can still build, if you're doing like long panels and stuff like that on a boat or something, I would imagine it'd be good to do because it's long and it'll last as thick as upholstery shippers would hold on to it pretty good. But this one seems pretty good. I really don't know what type of material this is, but it looks like it, it'll hold up pretty thick. Um, but I would just highly suggest doing uh, screws on it instead of staples. Okay, let's take a walk over here real quick. And let's look back at this piece of wood. So this one right here, it is plywood, but it seems like it's a smoother plywood. Um, this one's a nicer one right here as well. Um, this stick is pretty good. I would imagine it's probably like three quarters. Um, like again, I don't know about the uh, stapling. Let me see if I can focus this guy. It's just like regular plywood, I guess. 
but um, I wouldn't suggest stapling it because I feel like it'll blast through it. Or it probably does hold up pretty good. I just never used it, so we can give it a shot one day. And it does have half inch. Um, it is a little like flimsy, but I mean you can work around it. It'd be probably good for like flush panels as well too. But it doesn't feel as heavy, so maybe one person can carry it. Compared to like the MDF, man, that thing is heavy. You're gonna need like two people to carry that. So this one is good. I like this one for paneling. This one's if you have like contour consoles. Instead of doing a fiberglass top, you can use this one. And um, it's bendable to make a nice curve on it. The half looks pretty good. But it is a little bit more pricier because it probably is a little bit more better win. But uh, what is this? Three quarters as well. Um, the half inch, man, that thing looks pretty good. We may build a little box out of it, but we're gonna have to brace it up because it won't be too flimsy. Man, this three quarters pretty catching my eye, but it's sixty-four dollars, ten dollars more than what the half or the three quarter inch MDF would be. But it's sandy plywood. Man, the focus is in here. It's horrible. Let's see if we can. This is horrible. So sorry, guys. I'm gonna try to fix, fuck up the camera when I get home. But anyways, three quarter inch. I think looks pretty good. Um, this bottom one. Oh my god, that's probably like an inch thick. Not even. No, that's probably like it's three quarters too. But it looks a little bit more. Uh, Loosely looks like that thing will just blast right through. But there's the uh, half inch again. Half inch is pretty good. I like this MDF stuff. Man, the focus on this thing sucks. I'm gonna have to fix that ASAP when I get home. But no three quarter inch MDF, I guess everybody bought it all up. We do have a lot of local car shops that come around here and uh buy a lot of wood and build boxes man you know the car audio game here in the city is pretty heavy so there's all these people buying stuff this tampered wood right here this is the brown one and then I like this for uh, panels I used to use this a lot for paneling when I used to do car audio when I was really 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 young and it served me well I built a lot of badass stuff but I actually stepped it up and instead of doing uh, like eighth inch panels man I, I started doing half inch panel so it'll last like so long um, let me see what else we got here what else we got here look at these two comfortable inside here like nothing okay so I'm actually gonna just take you guys and we're gonna walk towards the tools real quick I actually need to get some uh, stainless steel blades because I'm gonna tip my windows on my truck so let's keep walking These are all kinds of drill bits. Look, these are some badass counter seats right here. Okay, so these are some badass counter sinks. Man, I think I had to fix my uh, focus. That thing was messed up. But now you can see a little bit better, guys. Like D Wall. D Wall. Good stuff. Look, the quick connects. Like this right here is a big dog set right here, bit. Um, titanium drill bit set man like this is a big boy one these are the bigger bits right here i like to buy that Not today but these are the ones that you have to like pull the truck down and tighten it up man they just have so many tools like this is my favorite um, store like i want to go to the mall look we just got this guy right here this thing right here no joke look you see this is a bulkier one and this is one like a longer one, but I feel like it'll break or do something because of that long one. But we don't know because we never use it, so we'll buy it one day. Look at that Dang, that thing's cool. Look at all these. My OB, I'm a OB guy. But, original, you know, 
Ready for my scum boy? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Chop saws. These are all up in the big dog ones right here. It's good to make like um your braces, cut little braces, the little stands for your uh, uh, your fiberglass and all that stuff. But this was a cool one. You see? When we get our shop guys, man, we're gonna buy all nothing but the high tech stuff. I have a lot of this stuff already, but buying some new stuff will never hurt. It'll just help us elevate and make our stuff a lot more flawless. And cleaner look, man. So, once we get this YouTube channel to grow, we're gonna do a little bit of investing in the car shop and get things uh, going so we can drop more content for you guys and build a lot of more, you know, badass cars to be out here in these streets. So let's see if we can find our stainless steel. This looks pretty cool. Snap on. I need stainless steel so it doesn't scratch the uh, windows of the car. So this is probably just like the blade. Let's see what this is right here. Cutting points. Stainless steel does not like scratch the glass, so that's what we need. I think I'm just gonna have to Amazon it because I do not want to mess up my windows on my truck, guys. So let's keep looking. Let's keep looking at some tools real quick. Husky is a good brand, but I actually like Craftsman when I'm doing cool stuff like this. So let's keep walking around, guys, and see what else we can find. I can show you guys, and so you guys can learn a little bit more what stuff to use working on some uh, car audio stuff at your crib. Milwaukee is the truth, guys. Look, impact guns. I'm gonna need like an impact gun to take some wheels off soon. Milwaukee is like the best you can use. You see, even that big dog drill bit set is Milwaukee, man. Nothing but the best right here. Look, and they even have a Milwaukee router. 200 bucks. Tools do cost a little bit, man, but it's good to have all the good stuff, though. routers right here. Look like palm side ones are good for doing um, roundovers on boxes, braces and all kinds of stuff. Flush mount, cut rings out and stuff like that. These are the ones. Like all the different bits that you can get. Like me, I like the roundover bit, the little guy, and these are the flush bits right here to make the pieces identical. Um, the juice saw blades are all right there. Okay, so hopefully with the uh, this little video you guys can get a better view of pieces of wood that you can use for car audio. I wish they would have had the three quarters, but man, everybody came about that stuff. I showed you a few little tools that you can use, all the router bits. Um, Milwaukee is good stuff. I love Craftsman. And um, yeah, man, hopefully next time we come do another video, Home Depot, they have some stuff um, like the three quarter inch wood and uh, some table saws. I don't think they have that much table saws here. But um, man, if you like the video, you like these type of videos, man, hit that uh, thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and stay tuned for uh, further videos like this. Um, man, I love coming to Home Depot. Home Depot is a man's uh, toy store, and we are going to keep dropping videos like this for you guys so you can learn how to do car audio at your house. Any questions, drop a comment. Um, but for here, we're going to sign out. We got the kids. And man, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.